On this episode of Fantasy Camp, we travel to the offbeat surf town of Jaco, Costa Rica to watch a group of buddies live out their dream of learning to surf. That was really tough. We're in the spin cycle with no way out. Their instructor is five-time Costa Rican national surf champion, Alvaro Solano. They're looking good. I, I think they're going to do real good. I'm waiting for this all day. This is Fantasy Camp. Costa Rica is a country rich with natural beauty, friendly people, and great surfing. We're traveling to the Pacific Coast, which offers consistent waves, warm water, and beautiful sunsets. With more surfing shops than tourist traps, Hako is the quintessential surfing town, where you will find novices sharing the waves with professional surfers and everyone in between. It is in this mecca of surfing that Alvaro Solano, five-time winner of the Costa Rican Surf Championship, calls home. Alvaro's list of wins reads like a who's who of surfing, as his growing number of trophies and oversized checks will attest. Everybody knows him down here, so when we pull up on the beach and it's him, it's almost like people clear out because they know it's his camp, it's coming, he's going to be teaching. Alvaro and his wife, Joyce, decided to open the Vista Guapa Surf Fantasy Camp to help introduce newcomers to their passion, surfing. It makes you feel really good to see somebody catch a wave like especially if like the first way I ever get up on the board and ride it all the way into the shore. The Vista Guapa Surf Camp is located just a few minutes drive from Alvaro's favorite surfing spots. Vista Guapa offers a beginner surfer package year round for about a thousand dollars that is five days long and includes basic instruction, equipment, lodging, and most meals. The camp has six guest villas and can sleep up to 12. Each bungalow is situated on an overlook with a panoramic view of the ocean and surrounding area. I'm Mark Richards. Uh, I'm from Salt Lake City. I'm an airline pilot. Just came down here to learn how to surf with some of my good friends. I'm Tally Lloyd from uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm a financial advisor. Hi, I'm Todd Keener from Draper, Utah. I'm in uh, medical sales. I work for a biotech uh, pharmaceutical company out of the Bay Area. My name is Mike Bringhurst. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm an attorney there in Salt Lake. This ever-evolving group of friends makes annual pilgrimages to various exciting locales. This year, the Surf Fantasy Camp in Costa Rica. The campers caught up with friends Bryce and Dave, who had arrived the night before. Our campers awaken to a rainy morning. Occasional brief rain showers are common in Costa Rica's tropical environment. So it's 8.40, we just got up about 20 minutes ago. We're ready to eat and have a good day. This place is gorgeous. Cheers, Amelie. Cheers, Well, we're just getting ready to go out and surf for the day. And um, hopefully, I've never done it before, so hopefully it's going to be a good experience. My friends and I have always wanted to learn to surf, so no better place than Costa Rica. Woo! Yeah! Pura vida! Get started, come on. I, I think choosing this camp had a lot to do with, with Alvaro's experience. Um, there's obviously a mystique about him winning five times and, and his abilities and the things that he does. Alvaro instructs our campers on the basics of surfing before sending them out on the water where the real learning begins. First thing that we need to learn is where do we need to be on the surfboard and why. If we get on the board and we're too far forward, when we catch the wave, the nose is going to dive and you're going to go head first. Place your hands right by your chest and just one big push and go straight through your feet. Hands right by the chest, remember, it's really important. And if you guys keep this feet 
really straight like this, it's gonna be really hard on your knee. So remember to bring it in like on a 45 angle. We're gonna paddle all the way out and we're just gonna, we're gonna wait for the right ones. We, we're not just gonna take any wave that comes through because it'll be a waste of energy. So the instructors will help you guys pick the, the right wave. In order to catch the wave, you need to paddle for it. If you just sit there and like expect the wave to take you, that will never happen. You have to paddle for your own waves. All right. In the beginning, it was a challenge to get out there. I mean, you, you gotta work to get past some of those waves. You have to paddle out to a certain point. Paddle, 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 paddle. Because you gotta get out to the right spot so you can catch the ones that are ideal. I caught the first wave I got on and everybody was yelling at me that I was the natural or something. <laughs> Tired. That's work. When you catch a good wave, it's, it's the best feeling in the world uh, to be able to just start to slide down it. And once you get up and you're standing on it, you don't want it to stop. It is much harder than it looks. I have a, a newfound respect for surfers. After an exhausting day of wipeouts, Al Thoreau decides to reward the guys by taking them to one of his favorite restaurants for Hako's best view of the sunset. This is a place called Via Caletas, and it's a restaurant here, and they have a number of houses for people to rent and stay, and just a beautiful view and nice music, nice atmosphere. Coming up next on Fantasy Camp, our campers explore the town of Hako before putting their newly found surfing skills to the test on day two. We're in Jaco, Costa Rica at the Vista Guapa Surf Camp with six college buddies learning to surf for the first time. World-renowned surfing champion Alvaro Solano spent day one teaching the guys the basics of surfing. Day two is all about translating Alvaro's instruction into the perfect ride. Vista Guapa means beautiful view and uh, it explains it perfectly. You can look all the way around and you've got nothing but phenomenal views. You got the mountains, you can see the ocean out this way and, and more mountains and, and flat land over here and it's very appropriately named. This is literally coming to a camp where you feel like you moved into their home. They're cooking in their kitchen. They're feeding you every day as well as showing you the skills of something that they're very good at, at doing, which is surfing. Everything's kind of laid back, and when they tell you breakfast is at 8.30, it could be at 10 o'clock, and no one's gonna say you're late. The, the food is phenomenal. The hospitality is amazing. We have air conditioning, great beds, they're comfortable. We've got a beautiful view over the ocean, this whole valley over the city of Hako. Um, couldn't ask for anything else. It's stunning is what it is. The staff gets up early. They go out and take a look at the, the beach and they kind of get a feel for when the surf will be good. Like, the conditions doesn't get worse than this, so we come back in the afternoon. <laughs> the rain's knocking down the waves. It's crazy. You know, uh, this time of the year, I believe it's just coming out of the rainy season. It's almost as if you can kind of time the rain. A couple of really good thunder showers rolled through last night. The, the waves were too choppy, and so we had a day to kill in the town. And we went down, walked up and down the, the streets of, of Hako, and you know, I think we got some lunch and got a little bit of ice cream and, and did a little window shopping and bought some souvenirs for the kids. Because of the weather, Alvaro waits until the afternoon tide comes in to take the guys surfing. Well, it's uh, about three o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, we've kind of rode the storm out today. Weather's looking better, and uh, the waves are picking up. In the beginning, it's more 
of the do's and don'ts, the safety issues and things like that that they need to tell us that are obviously important for us to do and, and uh, not to do. The instruction that we have, these guys really care that you enjoy what you're doing. They just all kind of help us uh, catch a few waves and if we need a little extra push because we're not paddling hard enough, they help us out. So, works out great. Started getting the hang of staying in front of the brake, you know, and riding the wave down. So I got a couple of those. I'm done. We uh, tried to get that one last ride in there and the wave just kept breaking farther out and they were big and they were killing us. I mean, I was flipping and rolling upside down. I really didn't, couldn't, I didn't know which way was up. You know, flipping, flying, doing cartwheels. It was time to, time to take a breath, another half a second. And I needed some air, so I'm glad I finally found the top. It's fun. It's beautiful out there with the sunset and Nice way to finish off the day. Couldn't ask for a better place to be. Not at all. Coming up next on Fantasy Camp, our campers head deep into the rainforest to swing from the treetops. The Vista Guapa Surf Fantasy Camp is for those with a passion to ride the waves. The Beginner Camp is a five-day immersion experience with legendary surfing champion Alvaro Solano. Alvaro and his seasoned team work side by side with campers to learn the basics, such as finding the best waves and the correct way to stand up on the surfboard. The average cost is $1,000 per camper depending on the season and includes guided surf lessons, surfboard usage, accommodations and some meals. Shuttles for the two hour ride from the airport to Hako are included. Campers surf about three hours a day at Hako Beach not only one of the most scenic spots in Costa Rica, but also the quintessential location surfing gurus worldwide visit to catch the perfect wave. Optional activities include canopy tours, volcano tours, spa packages, sports fishing, horseback riding, and mountain biking. Costa Rica is a country with much to offer. Unrivaled scenery and never a shortage of fun and exciting things to experience. Costa Rica is unbelievable. I'm amazed at how beautiful it is. It, from the jungles, the rain, um, it's so green and lush. The black sand beaches that we've been surfing on, the, the people are so nice. Welcome to Costa Rica, people. Surfing is not the only thing you can do. You can also do canopy, uh, mountain biking, kayaking, horseback riding, and plenty other things. We had some downtime yesterday and decided to uh, spend it doing the zip line from tree to tree. The rainforest is one of the biggest attractions for visitors to Costa Rica. And the best way to experience it is from the treetops. Our campers have decided to visit one of the area's canopy tours this morning and wait for better surf in the afternoon. Well, the bugs are big up there. Probably a buggy place. This will help us uh, fight off the big ones. Are you ready? The guys are waiting for you next to the parking area, 100 meters. Anyone missing to sign the waiver form? First of all, I want to welcome you to the waterfall canopy tour. We're going to split you guys in two groups so that you can hear the guides better. Hey, hey. hey. it's me. Be good now. Who to meet up? The professional tour guides lead the campers into the rainforest, imparting their knowledge of local flora and fauna along the hike. Now we start with this tree right over here, that big tree over there. This one there? Yes, that's the royal palm. Uh, that's one of the biggest palms here in Costa Rica. Okay, let's get over here. No. No. Bryce, don't eat those. You know when they ate or they drank that little juice out of those little cups? 
Then they ate them. You should really try the termites. Excellent. The guide was pulling bugs and termites off of plants and showing us that. And it was pretty amazing. And at the end of the, the walk in, there was this waterfall, like a three stage cascading waterfall. Although rainforest education is entertaining, the thrill of zipping along hundreds of feet above the canopy floor is the main draw for most visitors. You're in a harness and they hook you up to a pulley and, and uh, they hook it over the line and you just hold on both sides of that pulley and uh, sit down, put your weight in the harness and uh, hold on for a good ride. No. And to be up there so high with these little huts that are built and these tree houses and you're sliding from one to the other. And you're looking down going, wow, we are up here. All right, Dave! Don't show off, man. Hey, oh, Bryce, we forgot to click that. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Hands and feet inside the car at all times. All told, the guys crossed seven zip lines, one Tarzan swing, and rappelled back to the forest floor. This is one of the funnest things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Todd, I'm glad I could share this moment with you. It's, it's pretty much been a hallmark. Coming up next, our campers take the final plunge living out their fantasy of learning from and surfing alongside internationally known surfing phenom, Alvaro Solano. Welcome back to Fantasy Camp. The past two days have seen our campers consume copious amounts of seawater in their pursuit of the perfect wave. But the time has come to make it or break it. It's always fun to kind of have some friendly competition that go, going on as, as far as you can catch the most waves. Try to compete with one another to see who's, you know, who can take it to the next level. None of them are as good as me. I'm the kingpin. here at uh, Hermosa Beach, which means beautiful beach, and we're getting ready to go out in the waves and surf until the sun goes down. I think we've got enough uh, know-how to at least give it a good shot today, so we're excited. Just a waxing it up here. Ready, Sal? Do it. The instruction is over. Today is all about having fun and fulfilling the fantasy of sharing waves with Costa Rican surfing legend, Alvaro Solano. Keeping yourself, your body low, keeping, not looking at your feet, but looking out into, across the horizon a little bit and, and just uh, enjoying the ride. Alvaro and his instructors hope to inspire the guys by showing some of the spectacular moves that made him a repeat champion. Yeah, Alvaro out there jumping, it's like a big playground. You're just kind of basically, you know, getting thrown around like a little rag doll in a angry washing machine. Every time someone would get up, everybody would start yelling and screaming and whistling. Oh, up, baby. <laughs> My leash broke. You think a big shark might have bit it in half. Alvaro was nice enough to set me up with one of his own personal leashes, so I'm ready to go back out. Oh, there goes Mike for the big endo. Uh, personally, I think Tali did the best. He was riding uh, the waves longer than anybody, so I think that was his standing. 
he missed him by one inch. <laughs> so that, that saved the day right there. Yeah. We're gonna have to start surfing with helmets. I mean, there's nothing better to, than be able to go with your best friends from college and just hang out in, a, in Costa Rica. This is, the, this is the best. I think all of us have done well. We've taken it to the next level. Um, every one of us have got, gotten up, ridden some nice waves, figured the, the whole deal out. Most of all, though, it was just the rush of being able to get out there and, and catch a wave and ride it in. And, and uh, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it's unlike anything I've ever experienced before. This is beyond what I ever could have expected. Uh, the camp is great. The accommodations are great. The staff is unbelievable. <laughs> the guys here have given us such great instruction. They've been so helpful, and, and we've also made some great friends with them. Met a few people here that we really uh, had a lot of fun with that were at the camp. We've all exchanged numbers and uh, expect to see them in Utah and uh, take them skiing so we don't. We can show them that we're we're not totally uncoordinated. <laughs> I got the best job in the world. <laughs> <laughs>